Hi and welcome to another card making video. Today I am going to share three different ways to create a night sky and I'm going to play with different mediums for that and then we are going to have some fun with foiling. For my first background I'm starting with my good old Distress inks, these are not the oxides and I'm going to use my good old blending tools. You will see that I'm not going to have a good uh, blending in the beginning. You will see lots of splotches and uh, the circles of the sponges, but this is not a problem at all. This is a technique where you add layers and layers of color on top, so everything is going to cover it up completely. By the way, I'm working on Nina Solar White cardstock, which is very smooth and this is really important for blending distress inks. If you want, you can uh, create something similar by using your uh, oxides. However, it's going to look paler since oxides do have that chalky finish. The three colors that I'm working with are a dark blue, which in this case is faded jeans, the chipped sapphire, which is a mix between a, a very dark blue and purple. And finally, I'm going to add some black suit. So to create that background, all you have to do is to mix those three colors and you go over the ink again and again until you oversaturate it. Make sure that you don't have a flat color and you can have variations of this background depending on which color you use the most. I'm really happy with how my background is looking. I'm going to put it aside and let's work on a similar background by using a different medium. This time I'm going to work with watercolor markers and you can do the exact same thing with any brand of watercolor markers or you can even use your watercolors with a brush. This time I'm working on thick watercolor papers and I decided to go with three colors which are similar to the ink that I used in the previous background. I always like to work wet on wet since this is going to help my colors blend even better so I always spray my surface with water first and then I'm going to go with the three markers. Now I did choose a dark blue, a purple as well as a black. I am applying the three colors randomly on my background and then I'm going to help them blend by spraying some water on top as well. You can move your uh, watercolor cardstock uh, around. This is going to help those uh, colors blend to one another. They're going to bleed and I absolutely love this effect. And if you want, you can dry that and uh, apply a second layer of these three colors on top if you want to make it look brighter. It really depends on the watercolors that you are using and if they look paler as they dry. The ones that I'm using here, I know that they are going to stay nice and vibrant. And when I have all the supplies out, I tend to make more than one background. And I will show you one more variation of this one later on. So here you can see how the inked one looks and how the watercolor looks. And let's move on to the third similar background for today, but this time using alcohol inks. I decided to work on this uh, black cardstock, which is specifically made for working with alcohol inks. And I'm going to work with my alcohol pearls. These are lovely when they go on top of this black cardstock. And in both my previous two examples, I used black. This time I have black from my cardstock. Then I used a purple and a dark um, blue. So this time I'm going with uh, Celestial for my blue and Vilainus for my purple. These purple alcohol inks do have mica inside, so make sure to shake them well before you start out. I have here my blending solution and I'm going to play around just applying both those colors on top of my black cardstock. This uh, black cardstock is uh, specifically made for alcohol inks. It has a matte lovely finish and I absolutely love touching that. Anyway, I am blending them together. I'm going to help them blend nicely. And I'm not going to cover up completely the whole thing. I just love to have that background looking more artistic and have that black from the cardstock coming through in some areas. You can add more if you like until you are happy. And since I had all the supplies on my desk, I went ahead and made more than one background so that I can cut them out and use them in more than one projects. And if you notice in this blend, I do have a pinky area just because I added one more alcohol ink into the mix. So anyway, I am going to cut those in half so that I end up having more than one background with my alcohol inks. These all look stunning. All you have to do is to just stick a sentiment. It can be a die cut word, one of those big ones. 
and you will end up having a lovely card in no time. And let's bring in all the rest of the backgrounds that I created. So here I have the one with my inks, my distress inks. Then I have a couple of uh, backgrounds that I created with my watercolors and here are the ones with the pearl alcohol inks. Now I'm going to wash my inking fingers and then turn three of those backgrounds into cards. Nice and clean now and if you are wondering how I take those inks out of my hands, it's super simple. I keep this scrubby thing next to my sink and just wash it and rub my fingers on top. I bought that from Ranger ages ago, probably about 10 years ago. They did change the product now. This is how it looks. I did bought it just to test it out and it works exactly the same. I absolutely love playing with things, I don't mind touching the paint, actually it is satisfying to have inky fingers, but at the end of the day I just want to take it off and this is super helpful. Now for turning these backgrounds into cards, I'm going to play with a new collection by Spellbinders which is called Celestial and it comes with lovely foiling plates that um, do stamp great uh, sentiments as well as they have a full collection of all the signs. I did get Libra since I am a Libra and um, uh, there are also backgrounds with stars and stuff like that, really pretty and that's what I will be showcasing today. For my first card I picked the background that is uh, inked with uh, alcohol inks. I placed on top the plate that says uh, Libra as well as the constellation. I'm using gold foil for this card and I think it's going to look lovely on top of uh, that uh, background. And uh, I am securing everything down with uh, washi tape just to make sure that nothing is going to move on me. I'm going to place everything on my glimmer platform waiting for that to warm up and then I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. I like to run the blade a couple of times and I do that slowly although you see that in fast forward. I'm going to peel off the foil just make sure that you don't burn yourself and it looks just stunning. I'm going to finish off the card and then I'm going to show you some close-up looks. I'm going to place this panel on top of a standard card and I did finish it off with the foiled sentiment with the three words that describe my sign and I absolutely love that they include the word artistic. I think it matches perfectly with the background. Here are some close-up photos but in real life it's so stunning with that pearlescent background and the foil details on top. These foil sign plates are really fun because you can personalize the cards based on uh, whoever you want to send it and you can collect a few of them for your favorite people. For my next background, the one where I used Distress Ink, I decided to go with a plate that has uh, stars all over. At least that's what I'm thinking at this stage and you will see what is going to happen later on. I am placing everything down, securing it with my washi tape and I use again a gold foil. And here is the surprise. After foiling and peeling off the foil, I realized that I picked the wrong plate. So instead of, star uh, of having stars all over my background, I do have little flowers. Things like that happen to me all the time, but with the magic of video editing, I save the day. I would normally have gone and create another one just to show you. However, I thought that it would be fun to just leave it as it is and continue with this background so that you can see that no one is perfect although it looks like in our videos. So let's pretend now both you and me that I did use the correct plate with stars and this is a background full of stars instead of tiny little flowers. I'm going to place my foil sentiment on top. I just did that on a strip of white cardstock and I do have a strip of gold cardstock on one side just to embellish my card a little bit more. I did uh, cut out a couple of uh, stars, I used gold cardstock for that and uh, I did have those star dies in my stash forever. I'm going to stick those there and I go with three just because I like odd numbers. And this is going to finish off my card. Here are some close-up photos on this card and remember we are pretending that these are not flowers, these are stars. And of course I will make sure to link down below the correct star plate. And now finally let's work on the watercolor background, for that I'm going to add golden stars by just uh, applying some splashes. I am using my metallic watercolors in gold. 
And I did foil with gold foil on white cardstock the sentiment that says in a sky full of stars you shine the brightest. I did cut the top on an angle just for some added interest and I do add a thin strip of gold cardstock there. I'm popping that on top of my panel and I do have foam squares at the back so I have some dimension there. I can stick that on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then to finish it off, I'm just going to add a die cut golden star. So here are all the three cards that I made for today and I hope that you had fun as I created three similar backgrounds by using different mediums. And remember, you haven't seen a single flower in this video. Here are some close-up photos on all the cards that I made for today. Down below, just like always, you will find links to everything I used. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for visiting and I hope you'll all have a lovely weekend.